from inflation beginning to start to Preston gaslighting us about changes and nerfs happening within Pet Simulator 99, we have a ton of news to go over and you guys are going to want to hear what I have to say. In this video, we're going to go over that stuff and more about the market to let you guys know exactly what is going on in the game. It seems like every day we are getting new and new strange stuff happening within Pet Simulator 99. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It helps me out so much. Make sure you're joined up on my Discord, link down in the description below. That's where all my giveaways take place, so you're going to want to be joined up for that. Let's get right into it though because I'm actually very excited about this one. We have some juicy drama to go over and you guys are going to want to hear this. All right, you guys. So if you didn't see the tweet, I'll have it on the screen here. But basically Preston made a tweet talking about all the negativity that he has been seeing on various platforms surrounding Pet Simulator 99 and the newest update that we saw on Saturday. As you guys can see in this tweet, Preston is trying to claim that all of these silent changes and random rebalancing that are going on in Pet Simulator 99 are just not true and that they are rumors. But as many of you guys probably know, this is a 100% a lie. And I don't know why Preston is trying to gaslight us that silent changes are not happening behind the scenes. Everybody that puts a lot of time into Pet Simulator 99 knows that they do these types of changes all the time. And just to prove to you guys that that tweet was a lie, here is something that was randomly rebalanced or silently changed, however you want to say it, in the past two days or the past 24 hours. So I'm going to move my face over here so you can see the graph of the existing electric cats that were being opened since the update. So if you didn't know, we got access to the treasure hideout minigame in Pet Simulator 99 that allowed a ton of people to get these huge electric cats that were dropping an absolute boatload of. Now, initially, people were very happy about this because this seemed to be a, another huge happy computer-like event where people were able to get a ton of free huges by just using a treasure hideout key and grinding for 30 minutes. It seemed like everybody was pretty much able to get at least one huge every time they did it. So it seemed like we were getting another free huge event going on. But as you can see from this graph, there was a silent change or a random rebalance, however Preston wants to say it, that ended up changing the drop rates for this huge electric cat. You can see a very dramatic change in the graph line for this. I don't think you can explain this in any other way, but the fact that Big Games probably restarted the servers and changed the drop rates for this huge, and they did this not only once, but twice. You can see just yesterday, they did the same thing again and lowered the drop rates even more. So people are pretty much getting basically no more huge electric cats. The graph has pretty much stalled out completely. Look how steep of a line we had when the update initially came out. And then basically the past 24 hours, people have gotten like a hundred of them total. So if this is a silent change or a random rebalance, I don't know what you would call it, but Big Games is definitely guilty of this, so I don't know why they don't just own up to it. But it did seem like Preston must have been in his feelings because he followed this up with another tweet, basically calling out people that have been saying Preston made certain changes to make more money. He then says, yes, he runs a business, but he's not trying to screw over any players at all. And that Pet Simulator 99 was designed for everybody to have fun and that he himself actually actively plays the game on a free to play account. So I don't know what he's trying to get at with that last part of the tweet saying he plays on a free to play account. I think in his mind, he thinks this is some sort of big game changer. Like everybody's going to start relating to him just because he plays his own game on a free to play account that we don't even know of. Now, to be fair, I think people do say this way too much about Preston. Basically, for every little change that does happen in Pet Simulator 99, and most of the time, those changes actually do not make Preston any money. So it is kind of funny seeing these comments about pretty much everything they do. But I think this update is kind of an exception. 
I don't personally know what tweets or what posts he saw saying that he's doing things for money, but I would assume those tweets would be talking about him keeping the boss chest mimic in the exclusive shop. And unless somebody has some grand explanation for why they would put the last chance symbol on the boss chest mimic in the exclusive shop last update and then not taken out this update, I don't know what to tell you. It to me, and probably every other person in the community, it seems like they kept the boss chest mimic in the exclusive shop to milk as much money as possible because it is the second best enchant in the game. So if this action wasn't just to make more money, I don't have any other explanation or any other reason I can think for him keeping it in the game. Now, I know Pet Simulator 99 has a big, younger, impressionable audience, but I think the vast majority of players that saw this tweet could see right through it, and I don't think this helped big game's image at all. The only positive replies that I saw under this tweet were from other big games partners, so obviously those are not reputable sources. I think every other reply that was not a big games partner under the tweet had some criticism of what Preston was saying. Now, I don't think there are actually any big game staff that actually watch these videos, but there is one major solution that would solve basically all of these problems and most of the issues that the public has with Pet Simulator 99 and big games. And that problem is communication. I don't know why big games just doesn't tell us all of these changes that they make. We don't care half the time, it's just so annoying having to test all these various things constantly and not knowing what changes are happening to the game. And I don't know why Preston is trying to hide the fact that they make changes behind the scenes. Because it's not like anybody who plays the game consistently doesn't know that these changes are being made. Most of these changes are very clear. But most of the time, it requires you to play the game pretty much 24-7 to even notice this stuff is happening. If I can make one suggestion to big games that would fix all of these problems, just do little patch notes like right here in the updates tab. Just have little patches that explain the various changes that are happening in the game. The way changes happen now in the game really just favors the most rich players as they spend the most time on the game and new players that don't get to spend as much time because they're either in school or work or doing other things in life don't even have a chance to keep up with all these changes because big games isn't telling anybody about them. Now, personally, I think most of the changes that big games does to the game is to help and they have good intentions behind it. But if big games continues to try to hide these changes and just not tell anybody about them, then people are going to be skeptical of your reasoning and why you are doing these things. For example, with the treasure hideout, all you guys could have done is have a little patch note saying that you nerfed the drop rates because you did not intend for the drop rates to be so high for the mini game. By doing this, every player gets access to the same information and are allowed to make their choices about investing in the game in a fair capacity. At the current moment, the only way to be up to date on these types of changes is by following 20 different Twitter accounts that give you news about Pet Simulator 99 and watching every single YouTube video to see who has the inside scoop about every little thing. All it really comes down to is communication, and I think if Big Games is able to get their communication right for all types of changes, then the player base would be a hundred times more happy. Now, personally, those were just my thoughts on Preston's tweet. It seemed like his tweet just was in bad taste, really. I think he was just potentially listening and reading too many bad comments about the game, and he kind of snapped. But I think a lot of the criticisms are because people actually love the game. I think this is true with many different types of games, but if people aren't giving criticisms about the game, then they probably don't actually enjoy it. Many super popular games have tons of people that constantly hate on it and trash it, but that's because they care about it and they want it to succeed. And personally, if I didn't care about the game, I just wouldn't be talking about any of this stuff. So I hope Big Games is just able to communicate a little better and see that these criticisms aren't always from a negative place and that obviously people care about the game and want it to succeed. Now, I know that was a lot of yapping about Preston's tweet, but the overall lack of communication coming from big games in the last few updates has been quite annoying, especially from a content standpoint, because it is so hard to make videos about things that are just going to change the next day. 
and then I get blamed when something is not working the same that it was working the day before, and I have no idea if it actually changed or not because big games doesn't tell us anything. Now, in my last video, when I was talking about why we were seeing a deflation period, I said it was because of all the huges that we were getting for absolutely free coming from the Treasure Hideout minigame. And in that video, I said that if it turned out the drop rates for the huges was actually nerfed, then we probably would see inflation continue once again. And as I showed you guys earlier in the video, that nerf did happen. And everybody pretty much knows about it now, so we can probably expect that inflation is going to begin once again. Now, personally, I think this is because the booth tax and the mail system tax is not enough to really create a deflation period overall. Now, I think these changes are good for slowing down inflation in general, but just not overall enough to really start a deflation period. Also, the fact that that exclusive egg event pretty much is non-existent. I've seen two videos of it happening to people so far in the past two days since the update came out. So I don't know what's going on with that. That is another issue that I'm sure a lot of people were complaining about and what Preston was getting at in that tweet. So maybe big games will buff it and make it more prevalent. But up to this point, I've only seen two players in the whole game actually get to witness this event. So I just wanted to pull up this chart really quickly to show you the price changes of the huge happy computer. So as we were getting a ton of the huge electric cats dropping, people were expecting to get a lot of free huges. So that's why we were seeing a big deflation period with these huges as well as the exclusive eggs. But you could see in the last wrap update, we did see the price pretty much level off for huges. And then we saw a slight increase. And then in the last update that probably hasn't been updated on this API, the price actually rose about 200k. So we are probably going to be seeing inflation begin once again as people realize they aren't getting a ton of free huges and people are making the same amount, if not more diamonds this update than last. So this is why inflation is most likely beginning once again. We can expect for this to hit the prices of huges as well as most of the exclusive eggs. If we do see a buff coming to that free exclusive egg event, then we could potentially see the rising prices of exclusive eggs slow down. But at the moment, we could probably expect those exclusive eggs as well as the general amount of huges to begin increasing in price. And really quickly, I made a suggestion in my last video that you should invest in these hidden treasure ultimates because these were removed from the exclusive shop. And honestly, I don't think a ton of people went ahead and bought this thing. Because most people did not believe this was going to be removed from the exclusive shop, I don't think there's much of a supply of these things, and it is a good ultimate overall. So given those factors, personally, I bought two of these things, and I think they are going to be a great investment for you guys in the future. It is also super hard to find these in any of the booths, and it seems like nobody is selling them. So that is just another reason why I still think this is a good investment for you guys. So just keep that in mind. That is pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And remember to join my Discord, link in the description below, for daily giveaways on there, as well as a great community. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.